Greetings, and welcome to episode 69. In today's episode, we'll be discussing common sense and the suspension thereof. <laughs> yeah, lately I've been noticing that people will completely suspend their common sense if it means they're going to get something they want or they'll be able to avoid something they don't like. So, yeah. I've been seeing that like on a daily basis, so I figured I'd do my next episode about that. Anyway, if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, the suspension of common sense. Uh, let me explain. Let me give you a for instance of what I mean. You, you've probably all been through this. Hopefully you haven't been someone that does this a lot or at all. <laughs> but someone who seemingly has their shit together and a good head on their shoulders will see a situation that's unfavorable to getting either what they want or avoiding something they don't want. And so they will immediately suspend common sense and pretend that they have absolutely no clue what deductive reasoning is. And instead of adding fact A with fact B plus fact C equals outcome, they will try, usually to no avail, to string the situation along through a series of asshat questions that they already know the answer to. They'll keep asking these questions over and over until they get the answer they want, or until you get pissed off and shoo them away. <clears throat> Which, in my case, is usually the pissed off and shoo them away. But, back up a step, and they're still asking these asshat questions. So they'll ask you the series of questions, and then they'll ask you the series of questions again. And then when you point out their horrid use of common sense in that instance through your series of questions they get upset with you uh, I give uh, for instance I pull up to work the person in question saw me pull on to the lot saw me park my car saw me get out of my car and walk up to the door at the same time they did okay they proceeded to try the door. The door was locked. Their immediate response to seeing the door locked was to start questioning me about what was going on and could they get fuel. I work at a gas station until something better comes along. Not the point. The point is that's that's what happened. And so I and then well, do you know how long it's going to close? What's going on? How, you know, are you going to open the door? Hey, and I, I squashed his whole line of questioning with one question. You just saw me pull in, right? And as soon as I asked that, he didn't answer the question. He went back to his first question and started his string of questions again. The same string of questions that I had no answers for a second ago. Suddenly, since I've questioned his horrid use of common sense, <laughs> suddenly... He believes that if I ask him again, the answers are changed, and I'll get in the door. I don't have keys to the building. Nobody does. Unless you're there, then there's keys to the building. So if the door is locked from the, outs from the inside, and the person who has the keys is on the inside, you're not unlocking that door. And anyone that's ever been anywhere knows that if a person just showed up to a situation, they probably know about as much about that situation as you do. Anyway, ultimate outcome, I had to tell the person to leave the property because they were getting so upset that they weren't getting the answers they wanted that they were probably going to go in and take it out on the cashier that was working at the time. At which point, the same thing would have occurred. I would have told them to get the hell off the property. And they would have been refused service. So, 
I mean, it devolved, completely devolved into a shouting match. Because this person wanted what he wanted so badly that he suspended common sense to try to get it. I mean, basic common sense would have said, okay, he pulled in the same time I did. He knows nothing about what's going on. And maybe I should just wait here a minute, and maybe then I'll get what I want. And if he would have waited five minutes without pissing me off, <laughs> he would have gotten exactly what he wanted. But asking me the same questions over and over, I mean, two and three times the same questions, like, dude, and I just kept asking him, did you not see me pull in the same time you did? You, matter of fact, you were here before I was. How am I supposed to know what's going on? Well, can I get gas? <laughs> oh, it was laughable. It, I mean, now I can laugh about it, but he pissed me off so bad, so bad. Just, And it wasn't the only time that's ever happened. That's just not even the most recent. It's just the most prominent, blatant disregard for common sense. Just, I'm just going to hit this button and suspend common sense so I can act stupid so you'll feel sorry. I, 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 that's got to be what it is. If I act stupid enough, you'll feel sorry for me and you'll get me what I want. Or you'll help me avoid what I don't want. Oh, good Lord. And I see it all over the place. I see it on the news. I see it, uh, the customers that come in and out. It's just... Oh, just a blatant disregard of common sense. And this same person will go home and complain about somebody else's common sense. When they have no problem suspending their common sense to get something they want. If there's something I want, I just ask. If I don't get the answer I want, I say, okay. You know, the, the question that would have, you know, not made this devolve into a shouting match would have been well why you know ask me why I can't help you don't just keep asking me questions about how I can help you ask me why I can't help you and I would have been able to answer because I a I just got here B I'm not even on the clock yet and C I have no clue why the door is locked but that's not what he asked can I get fuel well how long is the door gonna be locked can't you get in? <laughs> over and over and over. <laughs> it's like your refrigerator is empty for whatever reason. You ate all your food. You don't have any money or just didn't feel like going shopping or whatever. Your refrigerator is empty. And you go and you look in the refrigerator. And you close the door because you see it's empty. And you go about your business. And then later you've realized you're hungry again. And you go back and you check the refrigerator. Like something new is going to pop up in there between the last time you checked and this time you checked. That is a mild version of the suspension of common sense. <laughs> and I only say it's a mild version because it doesn't affect anyone but you. If you repeatedly check the refrigerator knowing full well it's empty before you check it. <laughs> That's actually another blatant disregard of common sense. But... Your suspension in that moment doesn't affect anyone but you. <laughs> and it's not just that moment. It was people, people will come in and do that and ask silly questions and not like the answer. So they'll ask, they'll either ask the same question over and over again or they'll keep rephrasing the question as though if I ask differently, <laughs> the answer will change. That's like if I open the fridge door slowly, there'll be food in there this time. No, no, there won't be any food in there. <sighs> but these are the same people that are most likely to get upset when somebody else either blatantly lacks common sense or suspends their common sense for the situation. 
and I hope and I'm assuming and I'm giving this person the benefit of the doubt that they're simply suspending common sense and it's not that they just didn't have common sense in the first place and something else I noticed if a person you're speaking with for any reason suspends their common sense everybody they're with will also suspend their common sense except for that one there's always if there's more than, if it's more than a group of three there's going to be that one voice of reason because he doesn't understand why you're suspending your common sense for this situation so he's going to speak and try to you know normally they're not this stupid could you know just forgive us and we'll leave kind of person <laughs> But I've noticed that if one person in the group suspends their common sense, everybody else in that group, I'd say four, a group of four or less, you know, you get down to two and it, yeah, they're, 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 they're going to do what each other do. But a, a group of four could go either way. There's probably might be one person in the group that will be the voice of reason, but anything more than four, there's, you're increasing your odds that there's a voice of reason within the group. But I've seen it. I've seen it happen where the one person asking the question suspends their common sense. And then everybody else in the group starts asking the same asshat questions and getting the same answer, but they keep asking the same questions. It's like, what is this? What? <laughs> you just heard, not only, that's, this is stupid on so many levels because not only did you hear me tell this person no, but you're going to ask me in five or six different ways the same question and get the same answer. So does that make you double stupid when you do that? Who knows? If you're guilty of doing this, my apologies. Because, yeah, you know you don't think very well of people that do that. Imagine how people feel about you when you do things like that. Common sense. I mean, it's. I swear it is a superpower. Everyone's worried about psychics. What about the people with common sense? Good Lord. Oh man. And it's everywhere. It's it's in every facet of society. It's it it can't be stopped. It's like and it just makes me wonder if that person will suspend their common sense so easily. How often does this person suspend their common sense? I mean, if you suspend your common sense often enough, could it be said that you don't have any common sense because if you use it so poorly I mean you obviously not that good at it so you must either not have it or may have only recently acquired it <laughs> common sense is precious it's a precious commodity that few people have and fewer people know how to use so those of you that out there watching this that have common sense, please don't suspend your common sense to try to get something you want or to avoid things you don't like. When I don't like something, I just say, I don't like that idea. And it's probably not going to happen. When I do want something, I say, hey, I want to do this. And then I hear the reasons why it can't be done. And I say, are you sure? See, that kind of it shortens the whole conversation that alleviates the necessity to ask the same fucking question 17 times are you sure you only got to say that once are you sure they say yay nay whatever you have your answer you don't have to ask another 17 times of well what color was it well what color was it well what color was it are you sure it wasn't this color well see and even if you say are you sure you're saying are you sure there is no need to suspend common sense none because I just I feel bad for anyone that so easily suspends their common sense that tells me that the drop of a hat anything comes along that benefits you even the little slightest bit you will suspend your common sense to make it happen 
And anything that is the tiniest little bit unfavorable, you will suspend your common sense to avoid it. And I don't know about your life, but my life, there's far more unfavorable situations that you would want to avoid. And, and people say, well, what's unfavorable? And I don't mean broken bones or wreck your car. I mean just you don't want to get up and walk across the room to change the channel. But you don't want to get up and look for the remote either. <laughs> Suspension of common sense means you're going to sit there for 20 minutes doing this. And not get out of your chair. And just look in the spots you just spent 20 minutes looking. And just, yeah. Suspension of common sense. Just so you don't have to get up and either change the channel by hand or get up and look for the damn TV remote. <sighs> It's oh, it's painful to watch, and I think that pissed me off more than his attitude toward my answer. It was the fact that blatant, just duh. What do you mean? I d I have to breathe in and out to maintain the pulse. <laughs> well, because if you hold your breath long enough, you will pass out. And if you somehow the your airways become blocked, you have about three minutes before you suffocate. And that's after you knock yourself unconscious by not breathing. So yeah, you got to breathe in and out. <laughs> and these aren't little kids. These ain't little teenagers. These are full-on adults with jobs they have a place in society at whatever level they have a, a place in society and what's funny is the higher their place in society the more quickly they'll suspend their common sense <laughs> go figure that one out <laughs> it's actually kind of funny but don't be that person. Like I said, so few people have it. And fewer still know how to use it. Well, who was it? They, there was a meme going around the internet attributed to John Wayne, who says, life's hard. Life's harder when you're stupid. <laughs> no truer words were spoken. <laughs> and life's got to be even harder when you're simply pretending to be stupid because you think that's going to get you what you want. Oy. When somebody answers your question, take the answer. If you keep fighting yourself to ask them another question, which is usually the same question reworded, ask yourself, why can't I take no for an answer? Or why is the answer I got so uncomfortable to me that I'm going to keep asking the question to get a different answer? Or until I get a different answer? Or until this guy gets or girl gets pissed off and runs me off? Because nothing you do is going to change the answer. Nothing. Especially if the person you're talking to has nothing to do with the situation other than they're standing there. <laughs> oh, and I can say, I can say with full honesty, I've done this before. I was much younger than I am now. And I can say years ago I've done this, but not any time recently. I can say with full honesty, I haven't suspended my common sense at least for the last 10 years. At least. Not knowing the answer and asking a question, that's one thing. But to pretend you're stupid so you can keep asking the same question over and over. Just because you want whatever product or th whatever. You want thing A. And because every answer you get says you're not going to get thing A, you're going to keep asking until the answer becomes you're going to get thing A. 
but I want, but I want, but I want, but I want. Or on the other hand, well, I don't want to walk all the way to the store. So you're going to do everything in your power. Can you get me right to the store? No. Oh, man. I give you five bucks. Dude, I can't. Oh, man, it'll take a minute. Just take a minute. Oh, you know, CC, don't tell me that has never happened before. <laughs> Dude said no. All you got to do from there is say, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, cool. It'll save you 18, 19 extra questions you didn't have to ask. And you're just like, now you're five minutes into what was a 20 minute walk. Now it's a 25 minute walk because you stood there talking to so and so and they kept saying no. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, if you're one of those people, please stop. You're making life harder for the rest of us. And if you've encountered one of these people, Oh, I feel for you. <laughs> know that I feel for you, and I know exactly how you feel and what you're going through. They should take, they should hold classes on common sense and how to use it properly. Oh, dear God. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a short video. It's not going to be 30 minutes. I'm just getting into the 20-minute mark. Wow. Really short video. But, uh, I was called in to work today, so I'm covering for somebody else because they injured themselves. So I got to get to bed anyway, so this is not a horrible, horrible thing. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. Leave comments down below. Please leave comments because I know we've all run into those people that lack common sense or suspended for the situation. <clears throat> but, uh, if you'd like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>